ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل عليه اللهم بارك عليه يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما all the praise to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala peace blessings and salutation upon muhammadur rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his entire household his companions and everyone is following him up to the day of judgment may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us as well Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in one of the hadith which was narrated by a sahabi whose name is Abi Kabshat al-Anmari. In this hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is giving the example of four categories of people. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us in the hadith that مثل هذه الأمة كمثل أربعة نفر That the likeness of this ummah is that of four people. So the likeness of us is that of four people. The first category, رَجُلٌ آتَاهُ اللَّهُ مَالًا وَعِلْمًا A man to whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives wealth and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives knowledge. فَهُوَ يَعْمَلُ بِعِلْمِهِ So that person, he acts according to his knowledge. فِي مَالِهِ يُنْفِقُهُ فِي حَقِّهِ With regard to his wealth. It means he spend it in the way it should be spent. So this is the first category. The second category Rasulullah sallallahu is telling us وَرَجُلٌ آتَاهُ اللَّهُ عِلْمًا وَلَمْ يُؤْتِهِ مَالًا And the second man is or second likeness is a man whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him knowledge but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not give him any wealth. So he would say, that person would say لَوْ كَانَ لِي مِثْلُ هَذَا عَمِلْتُ فِيهِ مِثْلَ الَّذِي يَعْمَلُ so he would say, if I had been given the wealth like the first man, I would have done the same thing what the first man is doing. So Rasulullah, after he explained them to, he is saying that, فَهُمَا فِي الْأَجْرِ سَوَاء Both of these two person or two, two men, they are equal in the reward. They are equal in the reward. So this is the first two. And then Rasulullah sallallahu is telling us, وَرَجُلٌ آتَاهُ اللَّهُ مَالَ A man to whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives wealth. وَلَمْ يُؤْتِهِ عِلْمًا But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not give him any knowledge. So what does he do? فَهُوَ يَخْبِطُ فِي مَالِهِ يُنْفِقُهُ فِي غَيْرِ حَقِّهِ So that person, he squanders his wealth, he does not spend it in an, in, he spend it in, in an appropriate way. So he does not spend it in the way he should spend. So then Rasulullah is telling us about the fourth category, وَرَجُلٌ لَمْ يُؤْتِهِ اللَّهُ مَالًا وَلَا عِلْمًا the likeness of the, four, the fourth, fourth man is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to whom Allah neither gave what, gives what? Knowledge nor wealth. So he would say that if I had the knowledge or if I had the wealth like the first person or I mean the third person, what he would do? He would have done whatever the third person has done it. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is telling us فَهُمَا فِي الْوِزْرِ سَوَىٰ So they are equal in their burden of the sin. So the main lesson from this hadith is about our sincerity. It's about our sincerity. You would have knowledge but you don't have wealth. So you could earn the same reward of that person who have the knowledge and who have the what? Wealth and he is doing good. So you will get the same reward as if like if a person, he does not have any knowledge, but Allah gave him wealth and he is doing whatever he wants with his wealth. And if you had that feeling or have that feeling in the mind that if I had the wealth, I would have done the same 
as the person is doing. So you will get the same sin as well. So it shows to us that our sincerity is very important. Our sincerity is very important. Now you can categorize in which group you fall. You can categorize yourself in which group you are falling. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Quran, Inna akramakum indallahi atqaakum. The most beloved one to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that person who is the most what? Sincere, who has the taqwa, who have the taqwa in the heart. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in another verse, إِنَّمَا يَتَقَبَّلُ اللَّهُ مِنَ الْمُتَّقِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts only from those who are muttaqeen. And when you are doing anything for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make sure every one of us, we have to do it, we have to ensure that we are doing it only for the sincerity, only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us at the end of Surah Al-Kahf, فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا Whomsoever wants to meet his Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا Let him do good actions. وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا And in another, in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, فَدْعُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ When you are calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with ikhlas, with a, full, with a faith, with an iman full of ikhlas. With an iman full of ikhlas. And when you have, when you, when you feel the iman, when you feel the iman, you have to understand that I am sinner. Aisha al-Siddiqa radiyallahu anha, she has asked once, how can I feel that I am a believer? How can I feel that I am a believer? So she would reply that when you feel that you are sinner. If you feel that you are sinner, you have to know that I am a believer. She asked again, how can I understand that I am a sinner? So again, she replied, when you feel that you are a believer. So if you feel I am a believer, you will automatically realize that I am a sinner. And you have to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you will understand and feel that I am someone who is sinning, then you have to know that I have Iman in my heart and you have to boost up your Iman, you have to revive your Iman. You have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sincere Iman. For you to get more understanding about the sincerity, read the Quran and read the stories of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then you will be able to understand the taqwa and you will be able to understand the ikhlas. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينِ It is an order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So no matter how your lifestyle is, you probably have knowledge, but you don't have wealth. You probably have wealth, but you don't have knowledge. If you have both of them, sincerity. If you have one of them, make sure you are sincere. And if you, have no, if you don't have anything, Make sure you are sincere as well. Do not drag yourself towards something which will earn the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq to understand. I say this and 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 I say this. الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ولي الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله سيد المرسلين صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين إن الله سبحانه وتعالى أمركم بأمر بدأ فيه بنفس فقال تعالى إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وارض اللهم عن الخلفاء الراشدين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن سائر الصحابة الأكرمين وعن التابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت Wahab. Many brothers and sisters requested dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease their difficulties. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq to understand the religion, to understand our situation. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa aqimis salah.
ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين 